Now, when I'm talking about public commitments, what I'm talking about is putting yourself out there, taking a goal, a dream, or even a small task and making it known publicly. Now, the restaurant industry figured this out many years ago. They used to have a real big problem with cancellations of reservations. They used to typically say you'd call up a restaurant and you'd say, yes, I'd like a reservation for six, please. And they would simply say, hey, call us back if you change your mind. Well, many people didn't. And so one restauranteur figured out quickly that if he actually asked for a public commitment, asked the individual, said, hey, if you can't make it, will you call me back? And the person would say, obviously, yes, I will, making that public statement. Now, it's a one-on-one -on -one statement, but that's still a public statement. They found that cancellations dropped dramatically. Not cancellations, but even no-shows dropped dramatically. Now, you can take the same tip and apply it to your life. I use this with my coaching clients, and I use it with myself. Take a goal, a dream, or something that you desire, and say it out to the world publicly. Take these daily growth hacks, for example. These daily growth hacks take a lot of time and a lot of resources to produce. Yet, I made a public commitment to produce over a year's worth of daily growth hacks for free and give them out to the world. Now, by making this public commitment, it has pushed me to doing this. Now, all my excuses, the lighting isn't correct, the sound isn't correct, I have to produce these in my office because it makes it easier for me to be the author of my own story, yet it's not the perfect environment isn't correct. I could make all of these excuses, but instead, I hung it out as a public commitment. I made this public commitment to my colleagues, I made this public commitment to friends, and I put it on social media, essentially painting myself into a corner where if I didn't produce these on a daily basis, people would know I was lying. People would know I'm falling short of my goal. Also, this allows the people around me to rally around my cause, to support me. You see, I have a family. I have work, I run five different companies. So it's very easy for me to say, you know what, I don't have time for these daily growth hacks, or I can't do this. But now I've made this public statement, and now I have the support of my wife, the support of my family, the support of my colleagues, the support of my employees to take the time to produce these for you. So this is an easy hack that all of us can use, yet very few of us take the opportunity to do it. Why? It's scary. What if we fail? You know, Doug, what if I mess up? What if I put this goal out to lose 10 pounds in, in 90 days and I, and I don't do it? That's okay. You're striving for it. To me, what's not okay with being the author of your own story is making excuses of why you're not doing it. Str falling short of trying to achieve your goals. You see, I don't care if you don't hit a goal as long as you're working towards it, as long as you tried. Now, if you try to hit a goal, you're gonna become a better person along the process. So I'm gonna ask you this today. Look at your five to thrive, take out your journal, write them down. What are your goals in those five areas? Now, if you've gone to authorofyourownstory.com and taken our free seven-day course on how to jumpstart to become the author of your own story, you've already worked on your 30-day game. This is a fantastic experience. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is take it one step further. In all of your five areas, publicly tell people what you're striving for. If it scares you to put this out there, all the better. You know, doing things that scare you are the things that allow you to grow. Growth is outside of your comfort zone, not inside it. Make your public commitments. One of my public commitments is to be able to speak conversational Spanish within 90 days. Another one of my commitments is at 40 to play competitive sports again. Another one of my commitments is to grow my fifth new business to generating over $100,000 each and every month within 90 days. I tell you this because these are public commitments. In the area of relationships, within 90 days, I plan to produce a book for my child that he can read when he's older. These are my public commitments and I'm making them publicly to you. Now that you know, you can rally around me. You can even say that these are ridiculous. It doesn't matter. I'm putting this out publicly to the world, and I'm asking you to do the same. Look, if you need a safer place to jumpstart off of, go to the author of your own story community where people just like you are making these public commitments on a regular basis, where you can be supported by like-minded individuals who are here to encourage you to live the life of your dreams. Make your commitments today, make them publicly. This will help you to achieve your goals. 
That's it for me today. Make sure you go out and make those public commitments. I can't wait to see them. And as always, go to authorofyourownstory.com where you can get tips, tricks, and insights above and beyond these daily growth hacks to help you become the author of your own story. Have a great day. I have a question for you. What if you could transform your life for the better in just 90 days? Would you do it? Our 90-Day Game is an online program and community created for people like you who are ready to make a shift and take those dreams and goals they've been talking about for years and turn them into a reality within 90 days. Go to authorofyourownstory.com forward slash 90-day-game and turn your goals into reality. And don't forget to be the author of your own story.